Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you. I'm going to talk about Neo, Xiaopeng, and Li Auto Stock. I'm going to do a comparison between these top three Chinese stocks. First, let's talk about the overview of each company and what makes them unique, their vehicles, and how much each of their vehicle costs on average. Vehicle deliveries, revenues, including projected revenue for 2020, and their profit margins. We'll also talk about their stock performance. Lastly, which one should you buy first and which one do I have? And the percentages of each stock in my portfolio. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's talk about the overview of each company. NEO, which was founded in 2014, currently offers three premium electric SUVs, ES8, ES6, and EC6, which was just released not too long ago. And they also have a plan to, to release their uh, ET7. I believe that is coming up at the end of 2021. Anyways, their each of the SUV are priced starting at roughly about $50,000. Next, Xpeng, they produce and sell premium electric vehicles, including the G3 SUV, which are roughly at about $22,000 post subsidies. And the G3 SUV was among the top electric SUVs in terms of sales in China in 2019. Next, Li Auto, they sell extended range electric vehicles, which are essential to EVs that also have a small gasoline engine that can generate additional electric power for the battery. And this reduces the need of the EV charging infrastructure, which currently limited in China with its Li One SUV, which priced at roughly about $46,000, ranking as the top selling SUV in the new energy vehicle segment in China in September 2020. Now let's talk about their vehicle deliveries. In 2018, NIO delivered roughly about 11,000 vehicles. Xiaopeng and Li Auto, they didn't sell any vehicles in 2018, but in 2019, they started selling their vehicles too. So for NIO, they doubled their deliveries to 21,000 vehicles Xiaopeng sold roughly about 13,000 and Li Auto they started late that year so they only sold 1,000 vehicles now let's talk about the expected deliveries uh, in 2020 we still have a month and a half left for 2020 for expected delivery in 2020 NIO is expected to deliver roughly about 40,000 vehicles almost double from 2019 Xiaopeng 25,000 and Li Auto at 25,000 as well. As you can see, Li Auto is likely to see the highest growth of all three. Next up, let's talk about their revenue in 2019 as well as the expected revenue for 2020. Neo's revenue in 2018 is about 700 million US dollars. In 2019, it went up to 1.1 billion, and by the end of this year, it's projected to uh, grow to 2.2 billion dollars in uh, revenue. For Li Auto, since they only delivered about a thousand vehicles in 2019, so their revenue was really low at 40 million, but the projected revenue for 2020 is about 1.3 billion for Xiaopeng their revenue for 2019 is 328.5 million dollars for the expected revenue for Xiaopeng for 2020 is at 732.6 million US dollars so neo revenue is likely to grow about 95 percent this year while Xiaopeng revenue is likely to grow about 120 percent and all of these numbers guys actually pull it from from Nasdaq there's an article I'll link it below the number was kind of hard to read so I broke it down and uh, made it into this page so hopefully it's easy for you guys to read now let's talk about their profit margins so all three of these companies are still not making profit yet so they have negative cash flow right now nonetheless we should still take a look at the net margins for 2019 NEO stood at negative 195 percent uh Xiao, Xiaopeng stood at negative 60 percent and Li Auto this is why I think it's the riskiest investment of all three the net margins 
stood at negative 860 percent yeah uh, it's um it's probably gonna take them three to five years to uh, be profitable i think for xiaopeng it'll probably take them about three years to be profitable and neo i think they're the fastest to be uh, profitable of all three you know their net margins are likely to improve sharply in 2020 as volumes pick up now let's take a look at their stock performance see which one has the highest growth so far this year for all three companies so for this page i just went on bar chart uh, select three of these company and generate a comparison report so this is as of november 10 2020 and this is after the market closed already okay i'm not going to go over every single you know detail about each company i just want to highlight a few of them if you take a look at their stock price today neo is down about 5.61 percent uh xpeng down about 3.43 percent and lee auto down about 4.03 percent and i'm throwing tesla in there because you know they're one of the leader in ev and tesla down about 2.59 percent and from this chart you guys can clearly see the performance of neo and how they're crushing it for six month uh, percentage change you can see that neo is killing it at 1000 percent xpeng is at 55.04 percent since uh you know august 27 i believe that's when they went uh, public and uh, Lee Auto is up 53.34% since July 30th, which I believe is when Lee Auto went public. Let's just go ahead and throw Tesla in there too, because some of you guys who are watching this video, uh, you guys have Tesla. Tesla is up 150% in the last six months. And if you take a look at their market cap, Tesla currently is 10 times the size of Neo and 20 times bigger than Xpeng and Lee Auto. Of course, Tesla is the king right now, but we'll see, we'll see three to five years from now. Another thing to pay attention to, this is very important, is the outstanding share. If you look at NEO, they have over 1 billion share left. Xpeng only have 719 million shares left and Li Auto only have 47 million share left. Okay, so now that you made it this far, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to put out more uh, content just like this one I talk about high growth stock EV investment strategies and personal finance anyway so if I were you and I don't have any EV stock in my portfolio I would go with Neo first and then Xiaopeng and Li Auto it's a little risky so if you have high risk tolerance then go with uh, Lee as well, but that will be my last one. And the reason why I think that Neo is the best one is because I just found another article which was just published earlier today. And this is from CN Tech Post. Out of the 10 top pure electric SUVs, Neo grabbed the top two spots. And the number of Neo models registered for insurance in China went up like 94% year over year. Now it just reached 4,800 in October 2020. And uh, of course, like I said, that's the ES6 and the ES8. And, and if you take a look at this top 10 pure SUV car sales, the ES6 is the most popular. 2,610 ES6 owner registered their uh, car with the insurance company. So yeah, as you can see, and even uh, the top nine, the EC6, which is fairly new, it's uh, slowly creeping up. Kind of surprised, as you can see, number seven is Xiaopeng, the G3. But personally, I have too much NEO in my portfolio right now. NEO takes up about 30% of my portfolio because NEO went up like eight times what I put in. So right now I am adjusting my portfolio uh, to limit some risk by buying some more Xiaopeng. So yeah, today, since Xiaopeng dipped a little bit, I was able to buy some more shares of Xiaopeng. That's it for this video. I hope you guys find it helpful. If you do, remember to thumbs up this video as it really help out my channel and push my content out to more YouTubers and investors like yourself. Comment below 
what are the top three stocks that uh, you're currently holding. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.